Hey, what's up? Welcome to Crypto Studio one more time. This time we want to talk about how to optimize your system using the Windows itself. But is it really possible to optimize system using Windows? Yes, this is the uh, question we're going to answer right now. And I'm going to tell you how to clean junk files, uh, cache files from your system in order to have an optimized Windows and a better speed uh, after cleaning all these unused and unnecessary files. So even with your browser, you may have experienced such uh, dysregulation, you may have experienced such uh, lack of speed uh, while you're working with your browser. So after a while, when you get back to the uh, same sites, you face lack of speed or maybe the site doesn't know it really well. Or even sometimes the browser freeze and it doesn't answer you, it doesn't give you any feedback while you want to enter some specific size. That's because you're having different kinds of cache files, junk files into your system and right now I'm going to tell you how you can uh, solve this problem, cleaning junk files, cleaning cache files from your system, both from the system and browser. So right now I'm going to start with the windows. This is a very simple procedure. You need to come to this box which is the search box into the taskbar. I will write disk cleanup. Actually it comes right here this cleanup while you press the bottom you will have another window coming up and it is asking you what is the drive that you're gonna start cleaning exactly so uh, as far as I know most of the junk files are saved and uh, stored into drive C for me actually because this is my uh, Windows drive it may differ for you because sometimes some windows are installed into some other drives like FE or the names are may be available into different computers. But here I have my windows on drive C while I press OK. So there will be another window coming up and it is asking me actually if I just want to clean the windows error reports or direct shader cache or delivery optimization files. So this is a good idea. In fact, while you're just cleaning all the cache files or the media files of your windows, tick all of these boxes so that you will have 293 megabytes of cache files cleaned and you will have more space total amount of this space you gain is 293 megabytes as you can see in here for me uh, although i'm just cleaning all these cache files and these junk files pretty often this is why that i have just 293 megabytes of cache files because the last time that i cleaned was about a day ago and after that you see that this amount of junk file is available into my windows drive but sometimes if you don't do this action for pretty a week or a month, you may have gigs, gigabytes of junk files into your drive, especially the Windows drive. And if you clean that, you will have an optimized Windows. You see that even the Windows is breathing better. So the Windows can have a better performance after all these cleanup actually. So when I press OK, it starts cleaning all the junk files and uh, the cache files. It's asking, are you sure you want permanently delete all these files and I say yes delete files it starts the procedure uh, after the procedure I can uh, repeat the same action uh, with other drives with drive F E every kind of drive that you have you see it is done then I will search this cleanup one more time I get back in here I can choose uh, another drive like D which is uh, another drive of mine and I named it like main because I just copy most of my important files inside uh, this drive when I press OK so it has just two uh, directly is shader cache and recycle mean it will be about 3.77 megabyte it's not that much a lot because I have already told you that I did this procedure about a day ago and I cleaned my uh, cache files but as I have already told your uh, Windows drive is actually you have to clean the cache and junk files because most of them are stored there because of your Windows files actually so I can do the same thing uh, this is about a Windows. If you want to have an optimized browser, I'm going to tell you how you can just optimize it right after uh, this section. Uh, sometimes you may face lack of speed in browsers. You use some sites a lot and as you see uh, at the bottom of some, some sites, it has been written that this site uses cookies or some junk files and you have to accept them if you want to continue through the site. Uh, you see sometimes when you get back to the site again you face lack of speed or some dysregulation the site doesn't load completely uh, after a while maybe the, the complete browser doesn't work and it starts freezing that's because of the junk files and these cookies that you need to clean them 
uh, sometimes pretty often. So right now, this is the browser that I'm using, which is uh, Google Chrome, and I'm gonna tell you how to uh, clean, actually, junk files into the Google Chrome. This is the same procedure in other browsers like Mozilla Firefox, I don't know, uh, Opera, different kinds of browsers have the same procedure for cleaning junk files. So right now for that I will come to these three dots at the top right and I will choose settings. I see different kinds of options to the left part and I press privacy and security. Into privacy and security I will have clear browsing data. When I press that it is asking three options for me. You need to be a little careful in here. If you want to keep your information, if you want to keep your saved data from the sites, you better not to check first and second boxes because the first and second box is showing you browsing history. Sometimes you have searched some sites that you need to have the names inside your browser. So this is a good idea not to tick it because if you do that, all the browsing history is deleted from your system and you may not access all those sites that you have searched before. So, I don't tick it because I really need some of the sites and the addresses that I've already entered into my browser, so I need them all. And for the second one, cookies and other site data. I do not do that because actually if you see here, signs out of most sites. As far as I know, sometimes I forget some of my passwords, so I uh, see my computer uh, protected and I will save the password into my browser. Uh, this is why I do not want to get out of the uh, sites actually I do not want to miss that opportunity but the last important part which is really important to be cleaned is cache images and file which is 319 megabytes so as far as I know uh, I cleaned my cache files and junk files of my browser about a day ago like my windows so from a day ago up to now I didn't browse a lot but as you see 319 megabytes of my browser is filled with cache files so I clear data in here then I will face a better performance of my uh, browser at faster speed because the cache files and junk files are gone. Actually, you can see 267 megabyte is actually back. So if I want to clear the data again and I press it, that 267 megabyte is because of my browsing and cookies. That's not a lot because I prefer not to lose them. Even if you want to finish this 267 uh, being presented in here, you need to just check this part and this part and then press clearing data then all the giant files are gone and it will show you a zero megabyte there won't be any cookies and cache files but i'm not going to do that because i need some information 267 megabytes is not a lot i prefer to keep it it's okay so 267 megabytes is actually because of not checking these two boxes so because i really need to have my browsing history and site data i need to keep them so this is why that i have 267 megabytes left into my cache files so that's a logical amount of cache files there's no problem but once um, i came after months some times ago i just found i had a gigabytes of cache files into the system so when i cleaned them all my browser just optimized and performed better uh, if there is any question about other browsers just don't hesitate to contact me and if you want to know about uh, the browsers and the different kinds of things you can do with your browser like syncing with your google account and getting back your bookmarks from another pc to the other one so you can just send me a message don't forget to subscribe us and ring the bell to get access to the old videos and don't miss any one of them have a good day i hope you have fun see you later